This video shows how to configure the caps all-in-one karaoke player for dual screen play mode. There are two types of all-in-one karaoke players. First, the S model with a model name starting with S, such as SA-G1012W or SB-F1002. And the second, the J model with a name starting with J, such as JB-G1012W. We'll make note when the two models require different instructions. Note that the all-in-one players are by default set for dual screen play mode. So in this video, we show how to set or confirm the configuration for dual screen play mode. All-in-one players have HDMI video connectors in the output plate located on the back panel. There may be also other connectors such as VGA or RCA composite. We recommend using the HDMI for better screen resolution. For audio, there are XLR connectors in the output plate. There are also RCA connectors, but we recommend using the XLR connectors for better sound quality. Connect the HDMI output to a TV and XLR outputs to a sound system. Turn on the TV and the sound system. Be sure to set the input source of the TV as HDMI. Next, turn on the all-in-one player. It will boot up to the following screens, the 3D customer interface on the touchscreen display, which is on the left side, and the lyric screen, also known as CDG screen, on the TV, which is on the right side. In the touchscreen display, minimize the 3D customer interface. The control panel will show up from behind and again minimize. You will see the Windows desktop. After a boot up, you may see instead the 3D customer interface on the left and the blank window screen on the right. Minimize the 3D customer interface. You will see the lyric screen in behind. Double click to shrink the lyric screen and you will see the control panel from behind. Again, minimize the control panel and now you see the Windows desktop in the background as before. Next, in the touchscreen display, right-click on the Windows desktop and select Display Settings. The setting window will pop up with a picture of two screens. Click on Identify. The numbers will show on the two screens, identifying which screen corresponds to which display. In our case, the number one is the touchscreen display, and the number two is the TV. Click on one and scroll down to Multiple Displays. Select or confirm the Extend These Displays option. If asked, click to keep changes. Also check or confirm the check mark on the Make This My Main Display option. This option makes the touchscreen display the control screen. Next, exit out of the display settings. Drag the lyric screen to the TV. The direction to drag may be to the left or to the right depending on your setup. Here we move to the right. When in TV, double click to expand the screen. Note that double click expands or shrink the screen. And the screen can only be dragged when shrunken. Next in the touchscreen display, go down to the taskbar and hover over the karaoke program icon. The program icon is as shown in this video for the S model. For the J model, the icon will be a blue circle with the name JB1993 Premier. Open the control panel. Go to the tools followed by setting. The general setting window will appear. First item on the top left corner is the start eSongbook server. Leave it checked if you wish to use the eSongbook or mobile phone in conjunction with the all-in-one player. Next, check the auto start in continuous mode. If you wish the reserved songs to start playing automatically when the karaoke program is in continuous mode. This is for convenience when using a free version of the mobile phone app which does not have the power to start, stop, reserve or cancel a song. Note that the continuous mode is turned on or off by pressing the continuous button in the control panel. Next, the IP address shown is the IP address of the all-in-one player assigned by the network router which is currently connected. This IP address is needed when connecting an e-songbook or mobile phone. Next, check the Enable 3D Customer Interface. This is a graphic version of the control panel that you may choose to use instead of the control panel. It is simple and intuitive, especially working well with a touchscreen monitor. Being simple, it can be used by both the operator and customers. 
However, the 3D customer interface does not have all the features that the control panel has. These features that are only in the control panel must be set before going over to the 3D customer interface. Under the Enable 3D Customer Interface option, there are many sub-options, and for the detailed description, we refer you to the user manual of All-in-One Player. When the Enable 3D Customer Interface is checked, we recommend also checking the first five sub-options. The options OSK should be unchecked unless you have playlists in exotic fonts such as Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, Indians, and etc. Next, we have Enable RX Mode. In the S model, this option becomes active when a build acceptor interface is installed. And when a build acceptor is connected, you can check these options to turn on the build acceptor. In the J model, the build acceptor interface is pre-installed, thus the Enable RX Mode option is active at all time. Check this option to turn on the build acceptor if it is connected. Next, check the Enable Smooth Filter for Lyrics. It makes the CDG graphic display of the lyrics more smooth. For the next options of pop-up window for Q, Advertisement, and Secondary CDG Screen, we refer you to the user manual of the all-in-one player. Next, for the display mode, check the window instead of full screen. The window implies the dual screen play mode. The full screen means the single screen play mode. For the rest of the options, we again refer you to the user manual. Their setting depends on your preferences. One option to note is display title at the bottom right. Check this option if you wish to display the standby and select messages on the lyric screen. The messages can be edited as you wish in the boxes. In the J model, this display title option is not available. To turn on the messages, place a check mark on the Enable RX Mode option which we discussed before. We are done with the settings. Click OK and exit out of the general setting window. If the Enable 3D Customer Interface option was checked as a change, the 3D Customer Interface will open, minimize the screen. Next in the control panel, load a playlist into my server if it's not loaded already. To do so, go to the bottom left section to highlight My Server. Check for a playlist appearing on the bottom right section. If none, click on the Load button and select a playlist, which in this video is the Master Playlist. Next, if you wish to conduct your karaoke show using the 3D Customer Interface, go down to the taskbar and click on the icon with a picture of a white monitor. This brings up the 3D Customer Interface. Use the keyboard and mouse, touchscreen, e-songbook, or mobile phone to select a song and play. For the J model, you can also use the remote controller that came with the player. For detailed instruction on how to operate, we refer you to the user manual and the video instruction at our website, cavsusa.com, C-A-V-S-U-S-A.com. Note that when playing a song, you may experience no sound, although the sound system is turned on and correctly connected. This likely happens due to the HDMI connection to the TV, hijacking the sound also to the TV. Go down to the taskbar and to the sound. Right-click and go to Open Sound Setting. Switch back the sound to Speakers from HDMI. For instruction on how to connect and use an eSongbook, please go to the video How to Connect eSongbook. This ends our video instruction on how to configure the all-in-one player for dual screen play mode.